today we're going to be talking about covalent compounds and covalent compounds are going to be uh, compounds that are made from nonmetals only. Remember that your nonmetals are going to be to the right of that stair step line on the periodic table and we have a very limited amount of nonmetals that are actually available that can bond and so we have a small number of uh, elements to choose from and these are all going to be elements that have more than four valence electrons so typically they're the ones that are stealing valence electrons from my poor innocent metals however since my covalent compounds are made up of non-metals only i have thieves bonding with thieves so i am not going to be uh, stealing electrons instead i'm going to be sharing electrons and since they are sharing those electrons and they kind of want you to think of them a little bit differently we are actually going to have super easy nomenclature rules for my covalent compounds so with covalent compounds my name is going to state the subscript using prefixes remember prefix means before so it's going to be a thing that I'm going to add on to the thing uh, to the name of the element before uh, the actual elements name so here we have uh, just some standard list of prefixes and I have some special thing to note so we have the prefix of mono mono meaning one uh, mono is actually only really going to be used for oxygen and only if oxygen is in that second uh, place so if he is the second uh, element listed and there's only one of him then you're going to have uh, that prefix of mono. Everybody else is not special enough for that mono prefix, so it will be oxygen only. For two, we have di. Three, we have tri. Four, we have tetra. Five, we have penta. Six, we have hexa. Seven, we have hepta. Eight, we have octa. Nine, we have nona. And ten, we have deca. Now, however, however you want to memorize these is fine. Um, but make sure that you have those prefixes memorized because they are required. Okay, so here we have an example of um, a covalent compound. So we have carbon and we have oxygen. Both carbon and oxygen are to the right of that stair step line, which would make them both nonmetals, which means that they are going to be a covalent compound, which means I need those prefixes. I only have one carbon, but again, mono only for oxygen so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm just going to straight write carbon i have two oxygens so i'm going to use the prefix of di and then i will still use that anion name of the second element so i'm still going to end in ide so co2 would be carbon dioxide and uh, my next example is just going to be uh, ch4 Again, I only have one carbon. If I had more of that initial element, then I would be using those prefixes. But for these examples, I don't. So it just so happens that, again, I'm not going to use a prefix for carbon because it's not oxygen. It's not special enough. And then I am going to use a prefix for that second element. Uh, I'm going to use the prefix for four, which is tetra. And then I will use the anion name of that element so hydrogen will become hydride i have four of them so it's going to be carbon tetrahydride 